Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video. And today's video, I am once again going to be playing another Left 4 Dead 2 custom map. And this custom map is going to be called Cold Front. This map is made by Jays, and this is supposed to be a map very similar to Hard Rain, from my understanding, except instead of facing rain, we are facing snow or a winter based environment. Alright, guys, let's now play Cold Front in Left 4 Dead 2. And it looks like this map takes place in Canada. You know, normally whenever I end up looking at, like, the Left 4 Dead cast, I think that somebody like Nick would be, like, burning alive in the heat where he is normally. But, like, this environment is, like, perfect for him. Oh, god damn it! I hit the car. I can't remember the last time I ever shot a car in Left 4 Dead. Oh, hi, Tank. What's up? Go away, 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 go away. Oh, Jesus Christ, Nick went flying. Uh oh, wait. Uh. Oh my god, how the hell? Like, I'm barely, like, escaping the tank. I'm really looking forward to uh, completing this map. I have not done a custom map in a fat minute. The last time I played a custom map was, I believe, like four months ago. I have been meaning to play a custom map for Left 4 Dead more often, but I just can't really find a good one. Alright, let's go up this ramp. Well, at least I'm not cold anymore. I mean, I'm on fire and have third degree burns, but at least I'll be warm. If anybody has any custom map recommendations by the way it doesn't necessarily have to be like the best map ever but as long as the map functions and is reasonably fun uh please feel free to let me know what i should play while we're also on the topic of video ideas by the way guys i want to suggest um a couple of ideas and you guys just let me know if you think that this would like be something you would like so one idea I had is that based off of the feedback I saw from the iceberg video, one of the things you guys really appreciated was the fact that I talked in a way that allowed you guys to be able to have my video in the background or even perhaps sleep. So one of the things that I like to watch whenever I'm trying to go to bed is like compilation videos of YouTubers that I've watched before in the past and they'll make like one or two hours of blank things to sleep to. Uh, so what I was thinking that I could do is make a compilation of either Myth Busting Mondays or my Left 4 Dead ranking videos and call it like one or two hours of Left 4 Dead Myths to fall asleep to or one or two hours of Left 4 Dead tier lists to sleep to. Uh, if you guys like that idea, I can definitely just make a compilation of all my old videos and format them in a way you guys could just listen to in the background. Uh, let me know what you think about that. I think this is the longest I've ever used the MP5. Like, the MP5 is not that bad of a gun. I would have swapped it out, though, had I found something else, but I just can't find any, uh, better weapons. Oh, speaking of better weapons. Actually, there's not as much variety as I thought there was. I will take a- I will take one of the chrome shotguns, though. Oh, wait, hold on, there's, uh, special ammo. Or, or you could do that, Rochelle, that works, too. What the hell is happening? Why did you guys just decide to get go happy go lucky and just shoot the witch? Dude, I love the models that you use, Jays, for the uh just the map in general. Like this is incredible. I didn't know if you were gonna um save time by using older assets, but you use like stuff I've never seen before personally. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, come on, man! Oh, come on, Tank. You can't do that to me. You can't just hide in the safe room like a little bitch. What the fuck? Get off of me! Okay. I'm almost there, but I gotta keep in mind I'm not truly safe yet. Wait, can he one shot me with a shopping cart? I have no idea. I'm really gonna keep that in mind. I don't want to get one shot by random things he flings at me. Okay, come on. So let me push forward. Wait, actually, can I go up the slide? Oh my god, you can! 
<laughs> oh, dude. Uh, that's so cool. I'm so easily entertained. Oh, this is neat. For a minute there, this looked like an old blockbuster. Is this a music store, or is this a uh, DVD place? I think it's music. Yeah, it's music. See? Oh, I'm getting out of that elevator. They're spitting bitches around. It's the zombified version of the Haktula girl. She's spitting on that thing. Oh, that's cool. This is the snowstorm effect. Although, it doesn't feel nearly as bad as the hard rain effect. Just kind of like a fog. Genuinely, though, I don't exactly even know where I was going even before the snowstorm even happened. Turn on the lights, all right. Somebody talking? Hey, we got another survivor. What's up, dude? We got Mike. How the hell you doing, Mike? Mike, where are you going? Mike, where the, <laughs> protect Mike while he's opening the gates. Wow, he's already got like a head start above us, okay. Can Mike actually, like, legit die? I see he has a health bar, so... Does he take friendly fire? No, but he definitely gets hit by zombies, though. Well, no, yeah, he, okay, I can shoot him. It's cool how they were able to, like, get a custom voice actor. Alright, Mike. Hopefully you'll be able to stay in the safe room with us, buddy. You know, the funny thing is that, like, legit, in a zombie apocalypse, if you were not able to find somewhere, like, let's say, an island... Did Mike die? Oh no, he just is chilling here, I guess. But uh, I was gonna say is that other than being on like an island, if you had another option, I would recommend being in an area that's like really cold because the zombies would probably like just freeze from the uh, environment and not be able to chase you. Another storm going on. Luckily, I'm. Oh shit! Here, would you look cold? This will probably keep you warm. Uh oh, I locked myself in. Hey guys, you deal with her. So it is a running finale. Okay. The Canadians at least seem a little bit nicer than the United States uh, military. <laughs> Just brute force it, John. You'll get there eventually. Gotta cut through this way. Just ammo. Move. Really? That zombie was like punching my penis. Tank. There he is. I was totally, for a second, expecting him to fling a log at me, like Final Destination style. We're we taking the train? I see the flare. Where is it? It's gotta be the train, right? Well, I better make that decision quick. The tank's coming, so... I gotta assume it's the train. Right? The train's honking. And they're getting in here with me. I gotta test to see if this is the escape vehicle. I can't tell. There's no thing on the director. Coach, please get in here, for the love of God. Uh-oh. That's not it, then. Is it over here? I thought that was the escape vehicle. Uh-oh. Oh, it's actually just the normal, like, little Humvee thing that the Blood Harvest military used. There he is. Dude, I'm so glad that I abandoned that idea of trying to be in that train car for the last second. Oh, thanks, military. Nice. Coolio. That was actually a really awesome campaign. Nice work, guys. So yeah, guys, that has been another Left 4 Dead 2 custom map video, and I do truly hope you guys ended up enjoying it. If you did, once again, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and all that beautiful stuff. And I hope you guys end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video from the most unique YouTubers are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys. I love all of you, and peace out. Hey, meme lords. Jesus here. And you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god, Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe too, or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too. And 
Give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom.